Before I give it to you, I just want y'all to know, do you believe in providence, coincidence, or accident? Oh yeah, now they're back together. Check that out. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Got off work a little early, and guess what? I'm headed to the lake and uh, gonna see what I can find today. Who knows, uh, hopefully another gold ring. I've been on a gold kick here in the last couple of videos and I'm looking forward to some more. So I know they're out there, I just gotta find them and uh, see what else I can find as well today and to make this a great video for you guys. So I got a little bit further to go and like I always say, I'll see you out in the water. Ninety-five solid. You gonna see that? Ninety-five solid. That's gonna be a big silver ring. At least that's what we hope for. Let's see. Big silver ring. It's in the scoop. Oh yeah, it's a silver ring. I see it. It's not big, but it is a nice. Well, I got my first find. I just got out here. My detector wasn't working earlier. It's just too hot in the truck. I had to cool it off. And then I had to help someone who was drowning and a lady that had an asthma seizure in the water, help them get out and talk to the EMS. And so I'm just now getting back in the water. Anyway, got a good 95 right here. It's a beautiful silver ring. Thought it was going to be bigger than that being a 95, but hey, I'll take it. All right, let's keep swinging. Let's see what else we can get. About two feet away from this was an 85. Check that out. Well, you know, this is my second ring. This is a James Avery stack, stacker or stackable ring or something like that. And this is my second one that I found, and it was founded right two foot away from, about a foot away from that other ring. I think they were put together. Uh, they were together. So that's two rings right here in the first five minutes. And it's my second James Avery, third James Avery out here now. And so second one just like this. All right, let's keep swinging. There's gotta be more out here. I just got through talking to a guy. He had a little chihuahua on his boogie board and I knew the dog was old. I kind of sucker for dogs. So I went up there and started talking. What was the dog's name and, and things like that. And uh, he asked me, you know, after we chat a little bit, asked me if I ever found anything metal detecting. I said, yeah, I find uh, rings and jewelry and all kinds of stuff. He said, maybe you can find my wife's ring. And I said, when did she lose it? Oh, he said about a year ago. And I said, well, well what was it? Maybe I did find it and, and uh, we can, you know, get it back to you. He goes, oh, it wasn't much of a ring. Just a, one of those, you know, personalized stainless steel rings. And But it's you know, something we got married and, you know, this man's gone through a lot, turned his life over to the Lord. And, and, uh, and so... I said, what did it look like? He said, had the had the name Shane on it and two hearts on each side. And I thought for a second, I said, I think I found your ring last year. And I said, let me get back home. I said, put your name and number in my truck. And uh, when I get home, I'll look. And sure enough, I went to my ring box, looked down there at the stainless steel section in my rings, and there was Shane with two hearts on it. I took a picture of it, I sent it to, to them, and they said, yes, that was the ring. And the wife started crying. And, and uh, so we're gonna get that ring returned in this video and uh, meet up with them and so uh it, it was a good it was a good turnout uh, good time on on that so uh so i always like doing a good ring return so uh let's uh get to swinging and we'll get to that ring turn later a little bit later on 77 to an 80. Well, got ring number three out here, and uh, I was wondering why it was ringing up like a 77 and jumping around. It's because it's an affinity ring, but it's got gold heart on it. It's got gold on it, so it's a silver gold ring. So that's ring number three. I'll take that. It's got a little diamond chip in it as well. Real pretty. All right, let's see what else is out here. A 
real jumpy 75. Real jumpy 75. Getting a real jumpy 75. Gonna end up being Jesus with a staff with his halo of stars or diamonds above his head and his sash around his waist. Hey, I'll take a piece of religious jewelry, just add it to my collection. So that's three rings and a and a Jesus pendant. You can't beat that, can you? Three all silver. So uh, let's keep swinging. Let's see what else we can get. Yeah, check that out. It's a heart locket ring. It's got a crown on top. You close it, got the crown on top. Little heart ring. That's the silver ring there. That's ring number four. All silver today. Four rings and that Jesus pendant. So I'm still just going to take my time and not go anywhere else today and just really cover all the area. This place hasn't been hunted. So let's keep looking. Maybe we'll find the gold. Check that out. Only about my second target. I, uh, getting a 56, 57 to a 60. And it's gonna be a, I don't know if it's a 10K or 14K gold chain. Well, that's nice. Uh, I can see writing on the clasp, but I just can't read what it is. It's too small, it's right there. But uh, ringing up like a gold, I'll let you know by the time you're watching this video, you already know. So, there's an initial A gold necklace. All right, I moved on from that other lake to this lake on my way home. So let's, uh, got about an hour before dark, hour and a half, so let's keep swinging. Let's see if we can't find us a gold ring. Well, I'm glad I came over here after that gold chain. I got a gold crucifix here. I'm not sure what carrot it is. This preacher digger got his cross. It's an episode. I can't read the thing. Uh, I think it's going to be on the inside of the clasp. I think I see something in there. Uh, hopefully it's going to be gold. It's a nice gold uh, crucifix though. I'll take it. All right, about out of daylight. Let's keep swinging. See if we can't find us a big ring now. It's about nine o'clock. Not bad evening. Just got off work, came over and four rings, necklace, two gold chains over here. All right, time to go home, get some supper, go to work tomorrow, and then off to my honey hole on Saturday and see what I can get in my honey hole. So I'll see you in the water on Saturday. Before I give it to you, okay? There it goes like that. I just want y'all to know, do you believe in providence? Coincidence or accidents? Providence. Providence. Yeah, I tell you what, God used your dog. Yeah. What's your dog's name? Precious. Precious yeah. to make that contact. A year ago, I found this, a little over a year ago. And uh, I love dogs. I saw your little dog. I wanted to talk. <laughs> See, I was, because that's crazy, because I was going to say something to you. And I was, you know, because I seen you metal detecting, which a year ago, we asked another guy that was metal detecting. Uh -huh. He was like, oh, I couldn't find it. And I was like, I'm not going to ask him just because. You know, it's been over a year. Right. And then we've seen Crash with my dog. Yeah. Supposed to be, so, yeah. And when you said shame with two hearts, I'm yeah. like, that <laughs> rang a bell. That rang a bell right there. But you know what? The backstory to this is before I came out to the lake that evening, I went to a store to fill up some gas, and there was a young girl. I knew she didn't have money, and I just felt impressed. I need to pay for her gas, and I didn't do it. And I felt so bad about it. I felt convicted. So I got in my truck started driving down the highway, headed here to the lake, and I said, Lord, if I can just be a blessing to someone else yeah. Yeah. today, that would be really good. Yeah. And so I get out here, I see your little dog come up, we start talking, and then you talk about the ring, and then I have the ring over a year later, yeah. and here it is. I'm <laughs> gladly I can give it back to you right there. Thank you. Yeah, what do you think about that? <laughs> now you got them back. Let's see. Because we, we, we had it, we had it made. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, now they're back together. Check that out. So, give glory to the Lord, but hey, the little dog yeah. came in handy. I tell you yeah. what. <laughs> what are the odds a year later, y'all at the lake, I decided to come to this lake. You know, I hit a lot of lakes around here and I decided to come to this one. And then out of all the people in the lake, we make contact and then you say, hey, do you have the ring? You know, do you think you found the ring? That was awesome. And it's crazy because I wasn't going to even bring it up. I was like, ah, oh, it's been a year. There ain't no way nobody else. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I wasn't even going to bring it up. But then when you spoke to me, I, you know, which I told a couple guys at work, I was like, dude, amazing. You know, check, you know, and it's all God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a good story. I love, yeah. get, I love doing ring returns. Yeah. It's always a, a good ending to it all. Sometimes yeah, I can't was, find them, you know. Because this. This ring is the only one that doesn't, doesn't break Doesn't irritate out. my finger. Right. The other one is, any other one, it makes it swell. You know, rings, you know, stainless steel rings are not expensive rings, but that's not the value of the mm-hmm. ring. The value of the ring is the attachment yeah. to it, yeah. you know, what it means and what it stands yeah. for, you know. Yeah. And I would have never thought, I would, seeing a, a ring with Shane on it, I would have thought it was just some kid's ring, yeah. a cheap ring that they just bought. Yeah. Yeah. And, I got the crosses on this. And, yeah, and... And I had no idea that y'all had bought this for your, your marriage, you know, yeah. your wedding rings yeah. and what they, and, you know, and everything. That was just really a cool story. Yeah. And so, um, anything you want to say? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, it, it's, it's, it, I'm July. glad. Half of 4th of July yeah. to you Thank folks. You. Give me five. Oh. <laughs> Bump knuckles right there. You can do Bump that. Bump knuckles. Bump knuckles. There you go. Well, y'all have a great weekend. Enjoy, and I'm glad I could give it back. Thank you, man. God bless, man. I made it up on my location this morning. Left the house at 3.30. And just got here, and uh, I'm the only one here. The sun is just now coming up. So let's jump in and let's see if this pays off again this year is my honey hole every year it seems to I find a lot so hopefully this year be no different so let's get to swinging all right second target first target was a pull tab second target was eh, it's gonna be a junker ring ringing up a 65 it's gonna be a junker hey but it's a good start let's uh Keep swinging, let's see what else we can get. It's getting a signal here that's a 39 to a 40, and it's just a little silver chain. Uh, I think it's a, a charm bracelet. So that's a nice one. I'll take that any day. Uh, finds have kind of been few and far between right now. I'm about waist deep water just kneeling down. Reach down there, I love it when you get a signal, reach down there and get it with your hand and pull it up so maybe we'll find a few more things so let's keep swinging see what else we can find it's an air gauge bring it up a 43 all right very quiet out here well two foot away i found the other air gauge you lost both of them all right let's keep swinging getting a 73 here jumping around doesn't sound like a penny just going to be a gold plated uh, copper ring. I see all the gold plating coming off of it. Well I'll take that other than nothing at all. Well it's really quiet. This usually is a real good place for me but uh, this time it's really really quiet. All right the lake's high though. The rings could be further out and the lake went up and so I'm not out quite where they are yet. So we're going to keep going deeper and see. So let's keep swinging. Getting a 51. Got a cross ring. It's another costume ring though. Man, I'm the other day I just hit silver after silver after silver and gold and today it's just junk after junk and it's gold plated. But still it's just I shouldn't call it junk. I should just call it costume. Uh somebody's ring and they probably value this ring, but it's in my scoop now and in my bag, so alright. About chest deep water. Let's keep going out. Let's see if we what else we can get. Still about chest deep water here. Getting a 47. 
right there. That's going to be a... Well, my theory is paying off. It's usually in the ring zone, I call it, on this lake. It's about waist to mid-chest deep. And uh, this lake is up about a foot, so it's a little bit further out than what, what I was doing earlier. And so I'm getting them now, starting to get a couple of them. And uh, that's ring number four, but no precious yet. I've got those three costumes and this one stainless, so at least get me a, a silver or a couple of golds or whatever. But we'll take our time. We'll just have fun. Let's keep swinging, see what else we can get. Just here in waist deep water, thought I was digging up a pool tab. Reached down there and popped on my finger this little emerald. It's not real. Again, it's going to be gold plated. Boy, I'm striking it rich with these gold plated rings. It's ringing up a 60. Uh, usually a 60 is a pull tab. And I was clearing out the mud and that popped on my finger just like that. But it could be silver. There is a marking right there. All right, that's ring number five. That's my first good one, it's a silver. So let's keep looking. Let's see if we can uh, hunt the shallow just a little bit better. Ooh, I am sunburned. It is hot here in Texas. And I only lasted about a half a day today. But uh, I had a good week. Only went out really twice, I believe, and uh, found everything I found just on two lakes. And uh, But today was a, it's a blistering hot day. It's just 98, 99, 100 degrees in Texas. And the night before we had three inch, uh, three pound hailstones coming down. Who knows what the weather in Texas is gonna be like. But, but I had a great week. Uh, I got it all laid out here on the tailgate. Let me turn you around. Let me show you what I got this time. Well, what the whole lot, not a whole lot of trash this time. There's all my metal, aluminum, aluminum caps, bottle caps, beaver tails, and square uh, pull tabs. Not a whole lot. I uh, got another pair of sunglasses, some little toy. And I got one, two dollars and 75 cents in quarters. I got five, 10, 11, 12 dimes, one nickel, and five, 10, 15, 19 pennies. Not a lot of coins this time either. I uh, got some hoop earrings, some big four hoop earrings. Then I got, uh, I don't know what this is. I, I guess these are earrings that may have just the, the back of them have come off. And, uh, and then I got a belly button piercing. They always gross me out for some reason. And these two, I got two just right there together. I guess this was the guy's uh, ear gauges. He had two different sizes there. One fits inside the other. Maybe it goes like, that way, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, got a couple of them. Then I got, I thought it was a silver bracelet, but it's not, it's, it's gonna be uh, just costume jewelry or some little girl's uh, little flower jewelry but I did get a nice 10k gold chain here and it's marked I don't know if you can see it 41 it's marked 10k then I got Jesus again I don't know if it rang up like silver but I didn't find any uh, 925 on there but it, I think it's gonna be silver but I did get my cross I did get my cross and it says, I don't know if you can see it with the glare, but 41.7, 41.7, 41.7 7 means that it's 41.7% um, gold, which is 10 karat, another way of saying 10 karat gold. So a preacher digger get, did get his cross and he got a gold one at that, a crucifix. So got my religious jewelry. Here's some junk rings. These are junkers. These are not really costume rings. They're just junkers. Here is a couple of gold plated. Uh, costume rings. I thought the one with the green uh, emerald heart was going to be a uh, a silver, but it's not marked silver, so it's going to be gold plated uh, rings. I got one stainless steel ring with a moon on it. I got a cool. Here's all my silver rings. I got a little gold heart inside the locket. Check that out. Pop it up. There's a little gold heart there. And then I got two James Avery's. Uh, these are called stackers. My first ring of the year uh, was this one right here, just like this one. And these just stack on top of one another. The girls wear them that way. And then I got a nice 10 karat gold uh, eternity ring here. And so there's all the, the treasure this week. There's all the trash. 
and there's all the treasure. And like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can go out to a lake and get sunburned and bring it back and put it on a tailgate and do a wrap up. The greatest treasure, my friend, is always found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I wish everybody happy hunting and God bless.